Hey everyone, I'm in the car, so you know what that means. I am finally heading home. I get to see my family. I can't wait. So today is the official day that I'm allowed to go and do this, so of course I'm going to do it. I have been in Cornwall for four months. I was here before the lockdown, and then we got locked down, so obviously couldn't leave. And I have, you know, I have, I could have gone back to London because I had work responsibilities and obviously you're allowed to if you're working, but it just didn't sit right. I was like, you know, if I can stay here, I'll be here for as long as possible. But this is the point where it's like, I, there is responsibilities that I can't ignore now. And you know, it's time. So I'm in the car, my little puppy's on the chair next to me. Last night I packed up all my belongings. I haven't been able to fit everything in the car. Not a surprise, considering how much stuff I've accumulated over the past four months. But I'm excited. I'm also really nervous because, for me, this is the longest I've been in one place for about four years. It's the longest I've been in the country for about four years. So, it's been this false sense of security and this false sense of comfort. And I have a lot of things changing in my life over the next few months or next, well, the rest of this year. and everything's going to be particularly unsettled which is just such a drastic change from what it's been for the last four months i'm excited to do silly things like go and have a starbucks like my neighbor bought me a starbucks gift card for my birthday and i haven't been able to use it it's just sat in my car i might treat myself to one on the way home i'm excited to see my baby sister like i she's been with me the whole time she sent me like this was from my birthday thing 2m happy b day miss you love so far it's gonna make me cry I'm so close to my family and I saw like someone made a comment about me ditching my little sister during lockdown but like guys I'm 23 you know she's not my responsibility she's my little sister and I love her absolutely just like I love my whole family but I'm not her mum so yeah that comment just is a bit silly it's like I love her uh, with all my heart but it's not my job to kind of look after her if you know what I mean obviously I do because I love her but Either way, I'm so excited to see her. No one knows, well, my older sister guessed that I was coming. So I've told her because I don't think I should be making this literal like five hour journey without anyone knowing. But I haven't told my mom, I haven't told my little sister. And yeah, it's gonna be interesting, exciting, and pretty surreal. So yeah, I just got petrol. I'm about 20 minutes away from the house. The long part is to come, but I'm excited and I'm ready to get my life back. So I am two hours, 45 minutes into the journey. I've got basically the same left and I'm feeling okay, my hips hurt a little bit, but that's something that I've been suffering with for a while with driving. If you didn't know, I have arthritis, so yeah, that's just something as I've kind of got a little bit older, I say older, I'm 23, that I've kind of found, it's not a problem, but it's something, you know, that I have to think about. This one just made us pull over so you could go for a wee, didn't you? Cody is the easiest dog in the world. He literally gets in the car, sleeps, lays down. So if he ever sits up or he's like fussy, I know it's because he needs a wee. So we pulled into the services. It's a welcome break. Anyone else feel me? Welcome break is so much better than Road Chef or the Moto services. He hopped out the car and he had a wee straight away. So I just went and had a wee too. But now we are going to head back off. Also, I did a little M&S run when I went and got fuel before, we, before I left and I got some snacks, which I am so glad that I did. I also still have a cup of tea that I wasn't drinking because I didn't want to stop for a wee, but here we go. And it's still boiling hot, so I'm gonna sit and sip this because you're not supposed to drink and drive, as in like, you're not even supposed to drink with like a Starbucks or a bottle of water. Like you can genuinely get a ticket and points on your license for holding a cup of water and driving, which I mean, I understand, but also, but anyway, I'm gonna sit back and then carry on. Oh my gosh, I'm here. I've landed. <laughs> I've landed. Let's see how long that took me. Wait, I think I have to turn my car back on for it to tell me. It does calculate it though. So in total today, I have been driving for five hours and 15 minutes. I am so done. Uh, little man is fine. <laughs> He's just so funny. He doesn't mind. So I've just turned up at my sister's house. Her boyfriend rang me 
like when I was at the services and was like, do you want dinner? And I was like, heck yeah. So they've made me dinner with mashed potato, which is my favorite. So I just got to their house, gonna spend a couple hours with them and then, well, it's like seven o'clock and then go home. So yeah, I'm very excited. It's so crazy that we can do this now, you know? I just think it's absolutely ridiculous. Obviously, I'm still gonna be careful. I'm totally sanitized and obviously I'm just gonna still keep my distance. Thing is, I haven't seen anyone. Like, I, who did we see? We had a social distancing barbecue with one, like, one family whilst we're in Cornwall. So really, I haven't seen anyone. So I'm just feeling a bit apprehensive, but I wasn't gonna say no to dinner and I haven't seen them in four months. So I'm very, very, very happy to be here and I'm very excited and I can't believe I'm still in the car. <laughs> Hello, so I've just had the yummiest dinner and I'm now heading off to my family home. I'm so excited. We're so lucky, it was such a nice evening, so just sat in the garden. Why is my boot open? So, I've just pulled over to talk to you. I don't want you to think I'm like driving and vlogging or whatever. So, my plan is I wanna arrive home, hopefully everyone will be, be inside and I can walk in. And this morning, they were all on FaceTime to me baking sourdough bread with me. So, I might, I wanna walk in, like just like, just like anyone during quarantine, I've mastered the art of sourdough bread I've got my starter everything like down down to a tea so my plan is to walk in with my loaf of bread and be like does anyone want to try some bread like just really casually and then it'll click it'll be like what Em's here that'll work if everyone's inside there's a little spider in my car look you see and next up we've got a money spider <laughs> um let me just put this out of the window yeah, so that's the plan. I mean, knowing my luck, I'll probably turn up and they'll all be stood on the drive, but I don't have long between when I get there and being able to do that because they'll hear the car and they will look out the window or they'll know it's my car. So I need to like be pretty quick so they don't have time to realize. So you're gonna have to see yourself in the house, which he's pretty good at. Uh, but yeah, I am like literally five minutes away from home and I just stopped to, <laughs> to tell you that so you didn't think I was just walk in the house, walking in the house and shouting who wants bread for no reason. I should probably get the bread out ready. Mission failed, she's seen me. <laughs> she's screaming. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Man, knew it wouldn't work. Who wants to try some? Try some sourdough Me. bread. Me. Me nervous. It's bread, you donut. Exactly. I don't. Oh, I don't, not a donut. don't normally like bread. <laughs> yeah, but it's fresh bread. Oh, look at them too. Oh, Max. Max is licking cozy. Mmm. It's actually not bad. Not bad. So it's the next day. I just went and got my first Starbucks and. Yeah, I'm home and I can't believe it. Everything feels like strangely normal here. Obviously, I've been kind of out of my like general routine for so long, but I haven't been back to London, so I can't tell, but that will have to happen soon. So if you'd like me to vlog going back to London, let me know, but it, I'm very grateful to be back. I've just watched the clip back of me seeing Sophie for the first time and doesn't she just love the camera? <laughs> it made me laugh so much. She's like crying and then catching herself in the viewfinder like, that look really cute. That's so funny. That's so her. So yeah, I mean, I really hope you enjoyed this. It was a very emotional day yesterday, so I didn't really vlog in the evening. I was just catching up with everyone. It's so surreal. It's just such an amazing feeling just to be able to hug my family. And I know that sounds so stupid, but I haven't seen anyone for four months, let alone like hugged anyone or like touched anyone. It's so strange, but I'm so, so grateful to be here. So happy, so happy to have my freaking Starbucks. I'm doing a workout class tonight, which I'll, I'll take you along to actually. I don't know how it's gonna go, but the workout class is actually being run by one of my friends who his partner literally had a baby like 
maybe two weeks ago and i'll link their birth vlog down below it's really cool so yeah i'm gonna go and do a boot camp class with him because he's running them outside which is really cool i can hear my dog crying because he's just realized i'm still here and everyone else has gone out <laughs> but yeah i am gonna sit and chill and do some work and then get changed and we will head to my workout class okay so i've just arrived and quite honestly i don't actually know what i've got myself into but i've managed to park which is phenomenal because I don't know about you but for me something that like makes me really anxious is when I've not been somewhere for a while or been somewhere before and I don't know where to park like I like to know that it's like straightforward like I will like even go on google maps and kind of like look at parking just on like the street view is that really sad I don't know I just get pretty anxious but uh yeah I'm gonna go and work out do I need my hoodie I'm not gonna take my jumper I don't need it but I will bring you and I've got my five pounds and yeah let's go and i uh nervous not because i'm scared because they're really nice people but i haven't worked out in three months really no no, no. I mean, you know, the fact that we haven't done any exercise for so long it's quite <laughs> tricky we'll stand at the back <laughs> i think i'd find any exercise hard so yeah i can't do it oh it's a good turn now isn't it it's okay. I've just realized that this whole vlog is in my car and I'm so sorry. So I'm gonna to talk to you when I'm home, but oh my gosh, Chris just absolutely ruined everyone in the best way possible. So I'm gonna go and listen to Dixie D'Amelio's new song on repeat the whole way home and then I'll update you. So here's the promised change of scenery. I'm sat in my back garden. Um, but yeah, the workout was so good. So basically my old PT who I used to go to like these boot camp things with like two years ago, uh, hasn't been able to work obviously throughout you know everything and he's just started doing these outdoor like boot camp classes which literally started tonight so it's like no equipment outdoors in a field you know near anyone and it was brilliant I used my Apple watch to kind of see how well I did and I did really well and like my sister was there and she was like since when can you run I was like I can't run she's like but you're running I was like oh my gosh like my fitness must have got better throughout this because I did like the Chloe Ting and I've been walking and everything like that and my sister's staring at me um so yeah that was really good it was hard and I've just been on walk Cody for an hour so I think I'm gonna hurt tomorrow but yeah I'm just really ready to feel like I'm doing something and someone keeps texting me um <laughs> but yeah I think I'm gonna end the vlog up here because you've kind of seen me come home and just kind of get back into life which is really crazy I went and saw my grandma on the way home and I was saying to her that you know at some point I've got to go back to London and it's kind of freaking me out a little bit but I guess we'll see what happens I mean I have appointments there next week so I do need to be back by then but we'll see what happens but anyway thank you so much for watching this vlog please subscribe if you want to see more this is throwback to like 2014 Emily times. It feels really good to be here. So yeah, I'll see you very soon. Bye.